Aged, uh, Mom Melissa, hi. Hi. And uh, you guys are from Bettendorf, and this is Bethany. Yep, this is Bethany. And she's she's playing with some toys. She's having a good time. Um, but she's uh, she's also hooked up to an IV pole. And why why is that? What is what's Bethany fighting? She was diagnosed with acute lymphoblastic leukemia, an infantile type. Uh, on July 4th. So this is still pretty pretty new to you guys. In a way. Before she was diagnosed, <clears throat> you worked with people who had cancer. What was your what was your job? I was a pediatric oncology social worker okay. for 5 years. And that kind of led to you saying when when things weren't going right with her something's wrong here isn't that I, correct I, I knew something was wrong and the doctors kept trying to tell me that it was a virus or a bacteria they tried to put her on antibiotics and two days after they put her on antibiotics I just I, I didn't even wait to go back to the doctor I just take, took her to the ER because I knew something more was wrong and like always mom was right <laughs> something about a mother's intuition I'll tell you now and, and and you mentioned the field that you were in did that, did that do anything to, to cushion the blow about hearing the diagnosis about your own child or not? Um, I think the difference for me was the second we were in the ER and they did her blood work, I knew what we were going to hear. Um, whereas a lot of parents come into this blind, they, they don't know what to expect, they don't know what things mean when the doctors tell them at first. Um, and for me, because I spent so much time working in the field, I understood the second they came back to me and said, hey, her white blood cell count is at 50,000. I knew what they were gonna tell me when all this was done. She, Bethany, who's standing right down here, she's uh, she just turned w one and uh, I, I asked her, asked you if she was walking and doing all that kind of stuff that one-year-olds tend to start to do, and you said that life in the hospital has put some things on hold. It has. Um, before we came in, she was standing, she was cruising, she was walking around things, um, and actually, she's standing here in front of us, standing right now, holding on to something, but she hasn't done this in about a month. She has stopped standing. She stopped pulling herself to standing in her crib. And I think just her muscles are just weak because they don't get used here in the hospital. She doesn't have the opportunity to experiment with things. She can't crawl around on the floor. Um, and she's really just in her crib or in the stroller. And that's about it. What do the doctors say f uh, about how long treatment is going to, to take? Her treatment is going to be approximately two years. Um, the first year is going to be pretty intensive. A lot of inpatient hospital stays. Um, a lot of a lot of very heavy duty chemo. Um, and then the second year is gonna be a lot of outpatient stuff. Um, a little bit milder chemo that's not gonna affect her blood counts quite so much. She looks like she's <laughs> doing great. I mean, man, she, she really, she is just a doll. How does it affect her, other than probably making her a little tired? Um, the chemos that she's gotten have really knocked her down. Um, she gets them, and then the following week, she's just out. She uh, has gotten really bad sores all the way in her mouth, all the way through her GI tract. Um, she's been in a lot of pain from them. Um, we've been here for 60 six days and we've only been home seven days in those 66 days wow um she hasn't gotten to see her sisters except for a dozen or so times um and i think that's that's the hardest thing for her i think 1-800-456-2772 i want to give the number here you've uh we're, we're videotaping the interview. I, I really want you all to go to the uh, to our YouTube channel and uh, and take a look at, at little Bethany here. She's just a beautiful little one-year-old. 
who uh, who's handing me things. Great smile. That. Thank you. You say hi. Say hi. She's kind of bashful, but that smile. Yeah. I'll tell you what, that smile says a million words. That it does. One eight hundred. Four five six two seven seven two. Seven two. That's there. right. It, that means twice as many people call when we say it at the same time. Uh, you know, one-year-olds, they're supposed to be up walking around, and they're supposed to be at home getting to see their, 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 their sisters. They're not supposed to be here at the hospital. And uh, Be thankful that, uh, that your kids are at home, and even though they may fight with their siblings, they get to see them every single day. And I know you guys would probably give anything to, 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 to get home and just live a little bit of normal. We would. She has three sisters, one of whom is her twin sister. Um, um, and uh, for her, them being apart has been so difficult. Um, and just all my kids miss us so much. 1-800-456-2772. Life doesn't stop just because mom and sister are at the hospital, unfortunately. Well, thank you guys for, for sharing your story and... She look. She looks just wonderful. I know she does. That's, <laughs> you can't that's tell great. that. You can't tell that she's sick. I think that's one of the hardest things. Is you look at her and she looks perfectly normal. Mm-hmm. She's. She looks like a happy, healthy little baby. <laughs> well, she certainly is happy, and we're working on the healthy part. One eight hundred four five six two seven seven two. Please call in your pledge right now for. For a little Bethany here. Who, uh, who joins us on stage. We've got about 12 more minutes left with our Transamerica Foundation match. We're trying to hit 102 Miracle Makers this morning before 8 o'clock, and you can be a part of that and help out kids like Bethany here. Be a Miracle Maker. Be a hero for these kids today. Please. It's our last morning of the Radiothon, and uh, we need your help. 800-456-2772, Brain and Steel, live at the University of Iowa Children's Hospital. We're KHAK.